What's up traders? Today's video is covering dividends on TradingView. Many of you out there are curious about dividends. Perhaps you own companies that pay dividends, or perhaps you're looking to utilize a dividend strategy in your trading skill set. So let's just dive right in here and very quickly tell you what a dividend is. A dividend at its core feature is something that a company pays out to its investor base on a specific time schedule. More often than not, they pay out those dividends to shareholders once every quarter. That means once every three months. So you may have just noticed step one of researching dividends on TradingView. And if you right click on your chart and go to settings, or of course you could use the settings wheel up here as well, there is an events button that you're gonna to wanna to click. We have it selected. And then there is a capability for you to toggle on or off the dividends that have been paid out to shareholders on the chart. So you can see here, we have this D icon here, it's in blue, and we can click and we can see all of the facts about these dividends. We see the X dividend date, Friday the 6th, October 20, 2023. We see the amount, 66 cents, and the payment date, which was Wednesday the 1st, November 2023. Now, what's really fantastic about this is you can actually see what was paid per share that you own. So when you see amount here, that means what's paid to you based on how many shares you own. So if you owned 100 shares of Verizon, you could do 100 shares times 0 0.665, and that's how much they would have paid you just for holding the stock. That's what a dividend is. It rewards shareholders just for holding the stock. You can see the payments right here. Now there's a lot more for us to dive into here because if you click this more VZ dividends button, you now have this really extensive and important view of Verizon dividends right here. So you've got all of the data here for you. You can analyze it as needed. So check this out. We can see the dividend per share and dividend yield in 2017, in 2018, in 2019. So we can track how much was paid per share. That's this blue bar here. That's the total amount. So in 2019 alone, $2.44 were paid out to shareholders. In 2020, $2.49 were paid out to shareholders. And actually what's fantastic about this feature is you can get a trend really quickly. You can see that the dividends paid out has been increasing for a number of years. Okay, that leads us to the next key comment, which is this teal line, which is called dividend yield. Well, now we're really getting into the key aspects of researching dividends on TradingView. Dividend yield is just what it sounds like. It is the percentage being paid to you relative to the share price. So as the share price drops, if the company is still paying a significant amount of dividend out, the percentage yield increases. And by the way, you can chart this. If you open up the indicators and strategies metrics, indicators, metrics, and strategies menu at the top of the chart, you can use the search box or go to financials and you can really dive into dividends. So we're gonna actually type in dividends and we can chart dividends as well dividends payable, dividends per share, common dividends paid, anything that you are looking for. And you may even want to make sure that you check what you're searching for. You can see just by removing the S, we can now see dividend yield percentage and much more. Let's go ahead and click dividend yield percentage. And now we have a yield percentage of Verizon right in front of us. Now, very important tip about this feature as you can see here, it says 7%, 8%, 7%. This yield is changing because we're on a quarterly charting mechanism. So if we open this up and we type in dividend yield percentage and go to annual, well, now you're going to get the annual rate. What was paid out through the course of the entire year and what yield is that? So those are some key things to keep in mind as you do this because you can chart dividend yield or all of the dividend indicators we just demonstrated on a quarterly or annual basis. Quarterly, of course, is gonna show it every three months, so every single time the dividend is paid out. 
whereas annual will show the dividend payment over the course of the entire year. So now you've got the basics of dividends, but there is much more to show you because this is probably one of the most important things that we are going to demonstrate on this tutorial, and that is charting companies that are adjusted for dividends. So you can see here it says ADJ. That means adjusted for dividends. So we've given you the background on dividends, how they work, what they are, when they're paid out, and how you can research them on TradingView. But now it's essential we tell you about adjusted charts. So adjusted charts means that they factor in the dividends to this chart. Now this is most effective on a percentage change basis because here's why. You can see here that Verizon is in quite the downtrend. Let's actually just go to five years. Over the last five years, Verizon has been going down. But as mentioned, they do pay out dividends. So we're gonna go ahead and change this chart to a percentage chart. And what we observe here is that over the last five years, Verizon is down about 28%. But how much is Verizon down when you also factor in all of the dividends that were paid out? Because remember, if you've owned Verizon since this point in time, five years ago, every three months you collected a dividend. So you were collecting dividends this whole journey. So the share price might be down, but you still were collecting dividends and it's important to add that number back into your percentage gain or loss. So watch this, we're gonna click adjusted. We're gonna let it reload. We're gonna click five years. And if you notice here, Verizon is actually down 5% over the last five years when you factor in all of the dividends that they paid out. In fact, you can really get an important insight into markets by exploring this key feature on the TradingView platform. One of my personal favorites is I have Verizon here since its IPO, and I can see here it's up about 415% since its IPO. Look at this, 1983 is when it went public. It's now become one of the largest telecommunication companies on earth. And it's up 415%, really not the largest percentage ever, but watch how quickly this changes. Because when we click adjusted, this chart will now recalculate and add back in all of the dividends that you would have gathered if you held the stock this entire time. So let's click adjust, it's gonna reload. And wow, look at the difference in data. Verizon is up 3,000 and almost 500% since it's, its IPO when you add in the share price appreciation and all of the dividends that were collected as well along the way. Remember, dividends are paid out to shareholders. If you hold the shares, you get paid. So this is one of the most important charting features that you can utilize on TradingView if you're a dividend trader, dividend investor, anything of the sort. So now you know, you have adjusted right down here, which will adjust the chart for all of the dividends that were collected. So now you can see here that we've given you the basics of dividends. You know how to access key dividend indicators in the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu. You can use the search filter feature to type in dividend to find all of the different indicators available to you. You can also chart dividends as we were demonstrating because if you go to settings, click events, make sure you show your dividends and keep in mind, this is a monthly chart so you won't see the dividend icon on a monthly chart but if we go back to a daily chart and zoom out, you can see here, this shows when each dividend was paid out. You can click this button to get key stats. And of course, there's this more VZ dividends button, which then opens up even more research. Probably one of my favorite aspects of this page is being able to see the dividend payout history over time. So you can actually get a good feel for what's happened in this case since 2017. That's a ton of quarterly data for you to analyze and let's say for example you're trying to predict when the next x dividend date occurs and the next pay date well the last x dividend date happened on january 8th 2024 you can go back to 2023 and see what might happen this year probably a similar date might hit as well in fact go back to 2022 there you are again go back to 2021 and there you are again. So now you know that April is probably going to be the next upcoming date. So you can do some predictive analysis as well just by using the data here on this page. Now there's a few more things we wanna show you in this very detailed dividend tutorial video. 
And that is the aspect of finding dividends on tradingview.com. So we're going to go ahead and click home. So we're going to head back to the tradingview homepage. Let's switch this back to English. Let's go to English. You may have just learned an important lesson about how you can switch your regional languages. But nevertheless, if you go up to markets and then hover your mouse over stocks, you will see that there is a preset button here called high dividend, which you can click. And now you've got a list of high dividend stocks right in front of you. You can sort them by dividend yield. You also have these capabilities to quickly go through different metrics related to the companies that you're seeing. So maybe, for example, you've noticed that Cohen and Company has a dividend yield of 14%. Well, you can click performance. Now you can see Cohen and Company's performance. You can click valuation. Now you can see some stats about Cohen and Company's valuation. Do they have a PE ratio, a price to sales ratio? All of that good stuff. You can dive deeper into dividends as well by clicking the dividend dividends tab here to learn more about this dividend. Now, another important aspect here is that you can use the TradingView stock screener as well to factor in dividends or to study dividends. And that's ultimately the point of this video. We are walking you through every capable feature on TradingView for potential dividend investors or dividend traders. So what we're going to do now in this final part of the video to ensure you know everything about dividends on TradingView is you're going to go up to products, then it says screeners here, and you're going to go ahead and click stock 2.0. That's the new trading view screener. So now we've got the stock screener here and you can create highly custom screens yourself right from the stock screener. You can see it says dividend yield percentage. If we click this, a drop down occurs. We've got some presets here. So maybe you want to see 5% and above or custom type in your own desired dividend screen that you want to locate. But in this case, let's do 5% and above. Now, just like that, in a single click, we have 1,322 companies that are paying a dividend over the last trailing 12 months of 5% or more. Maybe that's too many companies for us to look at. So let's add some more key screening capabilities. Let's go ahead and add 2 billion and above. So it has to be a somewhat large company. It's US only. We're down to 632 companies. Let's make sure that it's profitable. And in that case, let's do, let's do how about uh, 15 to 25, a somewhat reasonable PE ratio. And now we're down to 91 symbols. So now we've got all of these symbols to sort through based on this custom screen. Now, if you have more questions and comments about dividends, considering that we've now walked you through the screener, the chart, the financials page, as well as the markets tab here, and what's available is a quick way to find high dividend stocks. It's important to remind you that in the help center, you can also search for dividend, press enter, get this drop down here, and you can learn a little bit more about dividends as well. If you don't know what dividend yield is, go read about it in our help center. We explained it in this video. We've got much more coming your way to break down each topic. But long story short, this highly detailed video should be enough for you to learn everything you need to know about dividends. And what's also very important about this as well is now you know how to chart dividends on TradingView. In that case, we showed you Verizon and all of the different ways to access dividends using the adjusted button, diving into the settings and ensuring that you are showing dividends on the chart if that's what you want to follow. And also, of course, going into the financials page here just by clicking this button. And lastly, there is the capability of searching dividends in the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu and figuring out what metric exactly you want to chart. Now, if you have more advanced questions or comments, please write them below and we will answer them. If this video helped you, please let us know. Stay subscribed, upvote this video, thumbs up, boost it, everything that you can do because that helps us and helps more people learn about dividends as well. So thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more.